Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another exciting segment of A Model Inspires. My name is Diana Ndimba, a proud model and an aspiring architect to be. Today we're going to talk about a very sensitive topic and that is, though not everybody can have it, everybody wants a piece of it. And that's the big humongous topic on confidence. I mean, we can agree to disagree that confidence is one of the most important skills one can acquire as it allows us to sell ourselves, to sell our brand, and sell exactly what we stand for. But how many times in one's life have we heard the phrase, be more confident, which leads to the next question, how exactly does one become more confident? Well, I'm going to share some tips and tricks that you can use on a daily basis that have helped me through my journey to become more confident, not only to feel more confident on the outside, but also feel confident on the inside with it. How do you present and represent yourself when you meet people? I mean, confident people always try and make eye contact as it not only shows a sign of respect, but shows a sign of honesty. Secondly, confident people always have great posture. Not only does it show that they are affirming of everything that they stand for, what they're wearing, or anything that they say, but it also shows that they are a well put together person. And I mean, who doesn't want to be that? Smile, smile, smile. As this shows that you are a friendly person, it makes you more approachable no matter where you are and kind of makes you a little bit more likable. I mean, <laughs> I mean, do everything slower when you don't feel confident in any position and any situation you are in. If you don't feel confident walking, walk slower. If you don't feel confident in talking, talk slower. I mean, become a listener. Listen more and talk less. As it allows us to think before we talk. And I mean, this allows you to have a little bit of time to have some smart talk. I mean, everybody wants to look intellectual, right? On the other hand, also allowing you to stand by your words. Meaning if you say something, you stand by it. And also respecting other people's disagreements on your statement. Do things on your own. Eat out alone, walk alone, run alone, and even travel alone. Enjoy your journey as you become independent alone. Enjoy spending time with yourself as this does not only allow you to become more self-confident, it allows you to be more self-aware of who you are, what you love, what you dislike. Start making decisions by yourself. Become a big decision maker and be decisive. Limit phrases like, I don't know, I think so, I'm not sure, maybe, probably, and only use them when really necessary. Confident people can compliment others. They accept compliments and take criticism very well as they do not take it personally because sometimes it's just not that personal. When somebody compliments you, do not start sharing your insecurities. Instead, accept the compliment and show some gratitude towards it by saying thank you. However, when one starts to share the insecurity, in the process you start to convince yourself that it's true and you start believing it, which will eventually break your confidence down and that's not what we want. And my last point, for me personally, that's the most important point about being more confident is have your mental strength as your greatest strength. Have a healthy mentality. Do not judge yourself. Be nice to yourself and try not to compare yourself as that breaks confidence. Be yourself by setting your own brand and setting your own trends and try not to be like anybody else. Instead, look up to people for inspiration, not look up to them to try and be like them. Lastly, be super overprotective of your energy and try to surround yourself with people that boost your self-confidence because if you're not protective of it, nobody will be. I just hope that this helps you as it helped me throughout my journey to become more confident. Please don't forget to like and share and comment and tag somebody who is confident in your life or who has helped you through your confidence journey. And especially, don't forget to take somebody who needs to hear this, who needs a little boost on confidence.